Hydrochlorothiazide, trade name hydrodiuryl, is a medication given for hypertension, CHF, renal dysfunction, cirrhosis, and glucocorticoid therapy. So it's a medication used for a lot of things. What you will most likely see it for is going to be hypertension and CHF. The way that it works, it actually increases sodium and water excretion and produces arterial dilation. So because of this, it's very commonly given for hypertension and CHF. Its pharmacologic class is thiazide diuretic, and its therapeutic class is antihypertensive and diuretic. So you can see that by increasing the sodium and water excretion, that we're actually going to be able to decrease our, our, our blood pressure, and that we're also going to cause this arterial dilation, which is also going to help with the increase in blood pressure, and then we're also going to help with fluid excretion for cases like CHF. So some of the things you want to keep in mind here with a, a lot of the diuretics, okay, is it can cause hypokalemia, hyponatremia, hypophosphatemia, hypomagnesemia, dehydration. So basically it's going to get rid of all these electrolytes as well as our water, which can lead to dehydration. And then it can lead to some of the side effects of like hypokalemia and hyponatremia and things like that. Hypo Kalemia can also increase the risk for digoxin toxicity. So we want to make sure we're running a CMP and we're looking at the electrolytes on our patient to see what the effect of this diuretic is on the patient's electrolyte panel and if we're going to need to replace electrolytes. So do we need to give some extra potassium today? Do we need to give some extra sodium today? What do we need to do to make sure that we keep our electrolytes in balance if we're wasting them through this diuretic? We want to also monitor our blood pressure and intake and output. Is our patient getting enough fluids? Um, is our patient blood pressure in appropriate range? We want to teach the patient how to take their own blood pressure home. If they end up at home taking hydrochlorothiazide, we want to make sure they know how to take their blood pressure and what safe ranges are for when they would take the medication, when they might hold the medication, and instruct them on that. The patient should take the same the medication at the same time each day. Make sure that they know that they should be taking it, you know, a set time so that the effects are going to be continuous with taking this medication. So as always, again, with the patient taking diuretics and thiazide diuretics, we really want to make sure we're checking our electrolytes. We really want to make sure we're checking our blood pressure. We want to make sure we're checking our output. And then we want to compare that with their electrolyte panels and determine, okay, do we need to maybe switch this to a potassium sparing diuretic or another kind of diuretic to try to retain some of these electrolytes? All right, so that is hydrochlorothiazide, trade name hydrodiuryl. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's nrsng.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at nrsng.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.